Welcome to Salute to Education, where every month we show you all the cool, amazing, innovative, and inspirational stuff happening in San Diego schools. Now, a field trip to a museum isn't that unusual, but what about learning your lessons inside a museum that floats? It's an exciting day for these fourth graders about to explore this massive floating museum. They're here to study science, but they are about to go aboard a piece of American history. Come on this way. The USS Midway was the longest serving aircraft carrier of the 20th century. Commissioned in 1945, the Midway served during the Cold War, Vietnam, Desert Storm, before being decommissioned in 1992. In June of 2004, it opened as the USS Midway Museum and has become one of San Diego's biggest attractions welcoming more than a million visitors aboard every year. The Midway is also committed to education, offering unique adventurous learning opportunities for second through eighth graders as a one-of-a-kind learning laboratory for a variety of subjects, each lesson designed to teach the California standards. So we do programs in social studies for second and third graders, math for second and third graders, and we really focus on sciences for the fourth through eighth grade students. Louise Shappy is one of several museum educators on the Midway. So I've got two things inside there. I've got magnets and I've got wires. I need those two to generate electricity. The third thing I need is motion. How do you think I'm going to get that? This lesson is all about magnets and electricity. Plug the generator in. There's a two-pronged plug. They actually see where the electricity is broken down into some pretty basic components and they can see it in a very practical way. And Dave, you begin to turn, David. After cranking out a little electricity by hand, students head out to see how the principles they've learned today were used on the Midway. What does a generator do? Yes. It powers electricity. It powers or creates or generates electricity. There's a lot of ways that you can weave the standards for the grade level into something that was happening on the ship. And it has um, ways that we can show kids how these principles and theories really worked. So there's two things inside this box. What do you know those two things have to be? What's one of them? Magnets. Magnets. What's the other one? The wires. And wires, exactly. It's the same theory that powered your little handheld generator. There's so much technology on, this, on, on aircraft carriers. Yeah. A tremendous amount of, of technology, of mathematics and science. And everything is exposed. Nothing's inside walls. So that makes it also very, very visceral for students. Long cable right here. And on one end, you see three little kind of fingers on the end of the cable. It is the excitement of, oh my goodness, not only did we see it and do it in, on the Midway, but we also saw how it actually works in a practical sense. Um, how does it help this ship get along? We learned about electricity today and we learned about all the stuff that they used on the ship. So that was really fun. I thought it was pretty cool because think about how much electricity has to be produced in that one spot. When a teacher makes a reservation for one of our On Board With programs, we're actually able to provide them with um, items or activities for their pre-visit time and then the program itself and then we have post-visit activities as well. So we're able to give a before, during, and after kind of comprehensive set of items that they can take with them. Spider-Man, he's a hero. Second graders at Hope Elementary prepped for their trip to the Midway by learning about heroes. I want you to think about what traits they have that make them such a super person. What makes them a hero? Their education department provided us with um, a lesson plan and then those mini biographies. When you ask a seven or eight year old what a hero is, they generally think of Superman or Batman. Any other famous people from history you can think of? Nicholas? Um, Abraham Lincoln, he stopped slavery. Oh, Abraham Lincoln was working to stop slavery. He made a big difference in our world. And today, the students will learn about the unsung heroes who worked on the Midway. So as we go on our tour, 
we're going to go to four different stops and we're going to talk about four different qualities of a hero. Okay, we're going to talk about courage, dedication, helping others, and sacrifice. Reading about an environment is entirely different from experiencing an environment. Um, and when the students are able to actually see and feel um, the sacrifices that had to be made and the environment that they're in, the close quarters of the midway, it brings a whole new level of understanding to um, what it takes to be able to contribute to a community and be a hero, be a person who makes a difference. So this is where I want to talk about um, the first characteristic of a hero, and that's courage. And it seems today's lessons have sunk in. A hero is someone who is helping others. It doesn't have to be something like Superman or George Washington. So it's someone that helps others. Sometimes heroes, their name, they don't get a holiday named after them or they're not in a history book, but they, but they still work for their country. So you have all these people with all these different roles operating on this floating city. And so when students get to see and experience that environment, it helps them, I think, kind of internalize what that looks like for understanding the role everyone plays in society. On the flight deck, sailors help others stay safe. Sailors sacrifice for their country. I think they're really going to have a better understanding of the sacrifice that these men made when they were on this ship. Um, and that's going to carry home thinking about how they sacrifice in their own lives to become people who make a difference too. I tell students that you have places to go, people to meet, and a whole lot to learn. And I think we've done that today. We went to a great place, we've learned a great amount of information, and we've met some really amazing people. It looks like fun. More than 45,000 students a year go through the Midway's educational programs, and they have scholarships available to ensure the program is available to all San Diego students. You can find out more information about the program on our website, 4SD.com, on the Salute to Education page. We'll be right back.